Hey guys, Christina here, and I've got our tent behind us. We're just about to put it away, and I thought I would give you a quick look at it. Because when we were trying to decide which tent to get, it was really nice to see kind of what it actually looked like and how people used it to see how the space really worked out. So this is a Coleman. It's a Hamptons nine-person tent. So I'll give you a quick look at the outside of it. This is our second year camping with it, and then I'll take you inside and give you some other info. So here's a look at it. So it's 10 by 14 feet. I'll just do a quick walk around. So this is the door here. It's a hinge door. There's a window. This side here, there's one window. Just another look at it. So there are two windows in the back. See there? And one more on this side. The kids are just having breakfast here. So there is what it looks like from the outside. I'll take you inside. So there's just the zipper here. Unzipper it. And the door just opens like this. you inside. So there's a double zipper on here so you can do it from the inside as well. So I'll give you a quick little look around first. So there is a, a zipper there to put, bring a cord in. There's some hanging basket thing there. For storage. So we're a family of seven, so we have two of these Campo cots right here. We have kiddo bunks, and then we have a pop-up pee bed, or peanut pod, something like that. <laughs> and um, you can see that that still gives us a lot of floor space. I'm gonna stand in the middle and do a round. So it is quite a large tent. So there's more storage over there. I'm looking up. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the windows and give you a look at that. So here's a look at it with the window portion open, the screened part there. So there's an opening on the door, on this window, this one, all of them here. So these side ones here, this one and this one, have two, um, not really clips, but two little things to hold them. All the other ones just have the one there. And again, there's that storage there as well as on the other side of the tent. Now we did have, um, not water in here, we did have some moisture and so my husband did spray the sealant around the edges just as a preventer and we haven't, just being prevented if we haven't had any more water in so it's done pretty well probably takes about 10 minutes to put it up it's not bad at all and there's a look at kind of everything there's the handles here as well on both sides so it's worked pretty well for our family of course it's based on nine people being on the floor because we have the vertical it saves quite a bit of floor space. We use this for um, changing, or if it's raining, we'll eat in here or play games in here. So lots of space for sure. So here's the bag that it all comes in. It's actually quite compact. It's not here. It's kind of my foot for comparison. It's not uh, too big. It says it takes 20 minutes to set up. So it's three clean air beds. Nine people. Kind of showing you some information about it. So there's a room divider if you want. We don't use that. So there's a look at the tent. So far it's worked really well for us. It's a good size. We've had larger, we've had smaller, and it's a good fit and it fits those um, bunk beds as well and the adult beds, which is really helpful because a lot of the tents we found, especially the dome-shaped ones, they didn't necessarily fit the bunk beds something to keep in mind if you have those bunk beds or you have a larger family. 
So we've liked it, it's worked well. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below in, in the comment section and I will answer them for you. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Take care. Thank you.